Crystal Thompson here for Pink and May. Today we are creating a gorgeous rainbow card using the brand new release Bright Side. We're going to be using the different clouds along with the coordinating rainbow dies. So let's get started. We're going to begin on a piece of watercolor cards. Like this has been cut four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm going to bring in my ink. I'm using, it's a boy from Catherine Pooler Designs. You can use whatever ink color you like. So I'm going to begin by stamping my clouds in this lovely blue shade. And I know it's a bit difficult to see, but um, it's just a very light outline, to be honest with you. And it's just to provide a little bit of a contrast with our rainbow. So we're going to do one more. And we're going to leave some space because our rainbow is going to go right here. We're going to set this aside and we are going to begin with the rainbow. So I'm going to be using watercolors and I have an assortment of the Zig markers. I love to use these guys for many different applications and you're going to watch how we're going to smooch these onto our card stock. So I'm going to grab one of the acrylic blocks and then I'm going to do a couple um, drawing here and I like using round acrylic blocks because you can really place your colors and it's not going to smooch all over the place like if you're using a piece of acetate. So again, don't don't worry about this. This is going to be super fun. You're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. All right, we're going to add our colors. We're going to come in and add a spritz of water. I have my mini mister. You can use anything you like. All right, everybody's pretty wet now. And I'm going to bring my cardstock and we're going to be doing this edge. And we're going to press it down. And what I like about watercolor cardstock is it really soaks up that color as opposed to using like cards, normal cardstock. You can do this technique with normal cardstock. You just can't use that much water because it's gonna drip everywhere. All right, let's see what this looks like. Ta-da! Have a piece of paper towel or something to clean off that edge. Look how fun. And that's what it looks like. It took the shape of our acrylic block. If you use, want to use a round, and if you want this to spread out more, just add more water. I'm quite happy with that look, yet you still have all the different little clouds. It's going to be quite, quite pretty. All right, I have pre-cut out of watercolor cardstock the rainbow dies, and we're going to be using the same colors that we used for the card. So I have pre-cut this. This is ready to go. And again, you can use a brush. You can use whatever you like but I'm going to use the color. So I'm going to begin with my purple. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw color the ends and then I'm going to grab my brush make sure it's saturated with water and just run that color up all the way where it's angled. Excuse me, where it curves. Okay, now we're going to do the next one. So we're going to set this aside. We're going to move on to the pink, and this is just number 25 pink. And again, this could be easier with a watercolor palette, but I'm trying to use minimal supplies. And that's what makes card making so much fun. Make it a challenge. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the red. And you keep these in color coordination. So this is geranium red. I'm going to add it to the bottom and just run it around. And be sure to do this on a surface that's wipeable. My surface is, is pretty cleanable. It's vinyl, so it just, it'll be okay. All right. Okay. And clean off brush, the brush in between applications of color. And honestly, now that we're changing color families, I'm just going to wipe up that up so it doesn't change up the color. Then we're going to do the orange. 
And that orange is actually called orange. <laughs> I keep looking back to see if they're going to be named different things, but they're not. They're named the color that they are. Okay, wipe that down. And then we're going to bring in our next slice of the rainbow. We're going to do this yellow green. And that way it mixes it up. And that was yellow and name. The other one was light green. Okay. And last but not least, we have our blue with the name blue. Feel free to run back and add more color. For example, I'm gonna run back and add more purple to my purple slice. And then we're gonna put the whole thing together once it's dry with some adhesive. All right guys, our rainbow dies are ready to be attached to the card. I really wanna raise these guys up, but I don't wanna cut individual pieces of foam. So what we're gonna do, I have two pieces of foam here. And these are gonna be a little bit wider, and don't worry, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Once you unstick your finger from this, you're gonna grab your first slice of your rainbow, add it to the end, we're gonna follow the curve, and then we're gonna add the other side. And we're gonna to try to keep it as close to the edge, and then curve it, okay? Does that make sense? All right. Now we're gonna move on to our next color. And really what you have to watch out on this is that you just line up those bottom pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, you just chop off the bottom. And then move on to the next one. I think one of the hardest things about putting this together is grabbing the piece. <laughs> Which is great, that is a good problem to have. Okay, I just love this, love, love, love this watercolor look. And then don't be afraid to make it longer so you don't run out of foam adhesive. Ta-da! Now you can put this on your card. So we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna remove that sticky back. And you know what? I'm gonna add another piece right here and then we'll stick it to the card. All right, friends, added my third piece. We're gonna place this down and actually, before I do, we're gonna trim these edges so it's nice and clean. And I really wanted my rainbow to be kind of pastel-y, um, happy color. I'm gonna add that, place it right there. And now we're gonna move on to our sentiment. All right, we have the You Are the Rainbow on my cloudy day. And we're gonna place it on this piece of black cardstock. And then we're gonna embellish it with Wow Embossing Puffy Glitter Twinkle. This is a white puff and it's gonna be iridescent and white and we're gonna run this through our heat machine. All right guys, that is a little glittery clear. We're gonna bring back our card base and then we're gonna place it right down here. We're gonna to try to line up that edge and if it doesn't work, you can just add it and then flip it around and trim any excess of your sentiment. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this very rainbow tutorial using the Pink and Main May release. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to stick around. There's a lot more on the channel. Click subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.